it captivates. But anyway, let's continue. Such an old fucking uh, sample. That Rock the House sample. I could name like 10 songs that use that sample. This song actually reminds me a lot of um, Sonic Riders. The, uh, the city level. Except like way faster, but still. It had like some of the same sounds. Uh, that was pretty generic. Low B, high C, nothing special. Oh, here you go, Opie. There's a good song name for you. Dude, I caught that Mario World sound effect. You can't just do that. Dude, I've never... What? I've heard this song... Like three times before, I've never noticed that. Those are all Mario World sound effects. What the fuck? What? I'm upset that I never noticed it before. It seems so obvious. This vocal is really obnoxious, though. Not a fan. Okay, now that I've noticed that there's <laughs> Mario World sound effects, I enjoy this song much more. I don't know why, it just kind of makes it for me. That was pretty good. I will put that in A tier. Because I liked it a lot. The Mario World sound effects really made it for me, but the drop was still really good. Like, for Electro House, like I said earlier, it's really easy to like get caught in like a really generic pattern for Electro House, but that one was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Next is Obsession. If you want to be weirded out, just listen to the lyrics in this song. We had each other for warmth. Hey, it's me. So I had a dream about us again last night. This time, we were standing by the ocean and watching the sunset. Your hair and your dress gently float in the wind. You looked as beautiful as ever. We sat down and watched the sun slowly disappear beyond the endless horizon. As the glow gradually faded away, we had each other for one. With your head on my shoulder and my arm around you, assuring you that you would always be safe with me, we thought about our past and our future together. The kind that I never experienced before you came along. We thought about our past and our future together. I thought about how lucky I was to have you in my life. You brought me so much joy, love, happiness, happiness, happiness. You then tried to break free from the restraints. The muffled sound of your sweet voice through the duct tape was probably an I love you. Yeah. I love you too. Always. It's so fuck. It's so fucked! <laughs> Ugh, those lyrics get me every time. You know, it could pass off like that, Gamera. It really could. But yeah, really enjoy that track. Uh, very, very, very good hardstyle track. Give that a, a high B. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Alright. Besides the weird, creepy lyrics. Oh, this song just makes me sad. Because it's... It has so much potential. Like, this song needs a remaster badly. It's actually a lot easier to hear the sounds in headphones. But, like, if you listen to this song out of, like, phone speakers or, like, even out loud at all, the main sounds don't even, like, come through. Like, it's really bad. 
Like, if this song was just mixed a little bit better, it could be fantastic. I still really, really enjoy this track, but I feel like it's just... It has so much potential. Like, this would be an S if it was mixed better. But I have to put it in A. Because it's mixed like trash. <laughs> How do I mean? A lot of the sounds are really, really quiet. Like, a lot of the main sounds during the drop are really quiet. Especially if you listen to the song on, like, speakers instead of headphones. Like, it's really noticeable then. But yeah, give that one an A rank because it's awesome, but it could be mixed better. If it was if it was mixed better, it would be an S, no question. Also, that's the first one by Noise Storm. Noise Storm, famous for Crab Rave for some reason. All his other songs are way fucking better than Crab Rave, but <laughs> that's the one that got him famous. <laughs> anyway, next song. So this is one I just can't. I just can't. Like, I don't know what it is about it. I just can't. Also mixed like shit. Like, there's some sounds that are just trying to happen, but they just, they're barely there. I believe that's called a wobble. I mean, you really just onomatopoeia it. Yeah, this one is just really, really... It's really trying to be something, but it's just not it. Flat! Yeah, that one's going in, uh, C. Low C. Low. Low C. It's kind of weird how much of a dud album this is compared to the other one. Like, it has double the amount of songs, and yet it doesn't hit hard at all. I can already tell this one's going to be, like, super generic. Super duper generic progressive house. Mostly just personal preference, honestly. Yeah, unless this one comes, like... Unless, unless this one becomes really cool all of a sudden, this one's, uh, going right in the F. I'm also trying not to, like, be super critical about the production quality because it's music that was made in 2011 and Monster Cat had way lower standards back then. So I feel like it's unfair. Yeah, this ain't it, Chief. Not good. Also, I don't know why they labeled it trance. This isn't trance at all. <laughs> it's just a really generic house beat. Uh, no, actually. Um, there was a song called Blow Explode that was really good as well. But, uh, Obsession is definitely number two ranked. Halo Nova's last song was not impressive in the slightest, so uh, we'll see what he does here. Oh. That's much better. Like that. I love that song, that sound. Wow. I love that. What the fuck is that? That's so cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is much, much, much better than his last one. Don't know why that song was necessary. But whatever. I don't know if you guys caught that, but <laughs> there's just a random moan in there. That was A. That was an A. That was really, really good. I liked that a ton. Now let's see if this is the inverse of that and Faint makes a worse one than last time because his last one's really good. Doesn't look like it. It's starting out pretty good. A for absolute banger. Exactly. This sounds like a... Like the, uh... Not the title screen, but like the main menu theme for a video game. Like a racing game. Like, that's what I picture when I listen to this. Like a choose a mode menu. Solid A. Easy A. It was just solid. Nothing really wrong with it. I can't really complain. He totally made those sounds with his mouth. That's creativity right there. Can't find a good... Can't find a good drum sample? Just use your mouth. Ooh, some liquid. Liquid D&D. Yummy. Oh my god, it is! God damn it, Opie, now I'm not gonna be able to unhear it. This song is just like chill. Just super chill vibes. Like I could sleep to this song. Yeah, this one's super chill. I really like it a lot. That's the thing though, with DB, it can be such hit or miss that like you never know what's gonna be good and then something like this happens and you're like wow why can't everything be this good <laughs> like this is such like perfect chill vibe that it's like crazy that one's at least a rank I'm almost tempted to put it in S because that was really really good very chill very nice very nice on the ears. Okay. I don't know how to feel about this one. I don't like like songs that do this type of thing where it's like they settle on one one lead sound and they're like yep we're gonna use this for every part of the song we're gonna pitch shift it so it fits every every situation and it's gonna work it doesn't work for me i don't know i don't know if i'm the only one that feels that way but it's like i feel like it's the rhythm syndrome like, Rhythm does that all the time, and it's one reason I hate it. Like, this is not Rhythm at all, but it does the same kind of thing. Where it's like, yep, this is the sound we're using, and that's it.
Yeah, that one... That was a C. I'll just put that in C. I didn't really like it that much. Mostly because it was just, like, that repetitive, like, same sound over and over again thing. I'm just not a huge fan of that, personally. This is totally like early 2010s pop vibes. Like, remember in early 2010s where literally every pop song was just a fun house track like this? Yeah. Huge. Huge early 2010s pop vibes. Which is not a bad thing. It's like some of the old. It's, a, it's like some of the only pop music that I'll listen to. So, Monster Cat is just a record label. They sign individual tracks by people and then. Unlike other- so, most record labels will sign on artists, Monster Cat signs tracks. You know what's cool? There's a global Twitch emote of, of the Monster Cat logo. You know, I usually don't like, um, super commercial housey numbers like this, but that was really nice. I think it's just because it reminded me of Pop from, like, early 2010s. But, like, that was real nice. Uh, I'm gonna put that in A. That was nice. The basics. I got a from the mouth and I just hit them with the basics. Uh, I don't know about that snare, Chief. I don't know if that works, boy. Everything just sounds crushed. Like, it sounds like he's squishing all the sounds. The song was like a B. Oh, no, 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 can't do that. That was the end. Well, shit. Well, I suppose that's the end of the stream. All in all, the second Monster Cat album is actually kind of a dud album. Well, not really, because, like, there was one S rank. There was a couple that I considered for S rank. Which is a lot more than I could say for the first one. But, like, there was also many more Fs. Like, the first one was more balanced. The second one had a lot of more highs and lows. I think the third album is really where they started to get their footing in terms of, like, actually making quality music. This has been, like, a really successful first try at this, uh, this format. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I'm going to keep doing it for a while. And uh, I can't wait to do more with this format. It's a lot of fun for me to do. And uh, it keeps me engaged a lot more than uh, just playing games. Which is what the goal was. Yeah, more to come. In Captain Base.